Welcome back, Farmdale Foxes. It is Monday, November 6th, and we're in for another busy week here at Farmdale. So let's go ahead and jump right into the announcements. Our character award of the month is citizenship. And citizenship is when each individual takes personal responsibility to be good to one another for the greater good, not just for yourself, but for the good around you. So you can do this by sharing, cooperating, and being helpful, looking out for the earth, being informed and also being respectful of others and also looking out for one another. So our strategy of the month is to say, excuse me, we should be fully staffed for the week. So Miss Brenda has some activities out there for you this week. So for first or third grade, it's being bag toss. And for fourth and fifth grade, it is topple tubes. Some of you might have noticed that when Miss Brenda is also out there, she does other activities and they're great activities. So make sure when you see Miss Brenda, you stop and tell her thank you because she's pretty amazing. Tomorrow is a big day, not just at Farmdale, but for our district. So all three schools in our district, Weaver, Pioneer, and Farmdale, are going to be doing a walk for Ruby Bridges, and we're all going to try to wear purple. So if you have some purple, wear it on Tuesday. And at 9.30, we're going to meet at the flagpole because we're going to have an opening ceremony, and then our walk will begin. I can't wait to see you there, and I hope you learn a lot. This week on Monday and Tuesday, we also have Top Fox and Fox Star recesses. So on Monday, Top Foxes will have their free recess at 2. And then on Tuesday, Top Foxes will have their recess at 2 o'clock. And remember, when you go to those recesses, you get some prizes and you get to have some fun with some friends. Also, did you know that you can be Top Fox and Fox Star? So congratulations to those of you guys that made both. Good job. We have some field trips this week. TK will be going to the Merced County Library on Monday, and then fifth grade will also be going to the library on Thursday, but they're also going to be going to the Courthouse Museum. So I hope they have a lot of fun. Remember to live the Fox Creed when you're out on a field trip. So remember to be safe, responsible, respectful, and kind. If you're doing those four things, you're being a great fox. We do have a minimum day this week, but it's not on Wednesday. It's on Friday. Be sure to tell your families that minimum day is on Friday. On Friday, you will be dismissed at 1.30. Also, make sure that they are here to pick you up right at 1.30 because the school office is going to be closing a little early that day. So make sure that you have a ride home on Friday and you get picked up at 1.30. We also have no school next week. So remember, next week is Thanksgiving break. You have all of that week to be with your family. So I hope you enjoy your time off and school will resume on Monday, November 27th. So here are a few housekeeping slides that we need to make sure that we remind students to do. Remember during recesses and lunchtime, we're not allowing coloring or drawing. I love that people are trying to be artistic and creative, but remember we can't have art supplies like pencils, pens, crayons, and markers. We can't have them outside in the playground, on the tables, and also not in the cafeteria. It's causing too many issues in the cafeteria and people are wanting to color instead of eat, or they're coloring and there's people gathering around them trying to get some of those supplies. So we're just not allowing it. If you do take those things out after today, we are going to start taking them away from you. And we don't want to do that. So make sure that you are not taking these things out. So remember, no coloring, no art in the cafeteria or on the playground. If you want to have a structured activity, you can ask a teacher to support that. And I'm pretty sure there's lots of teachers that wouldn't want to help you support that. But out in the blacktop area, it's a no-go just because we've been having a lot of issues with it. So keep your supplies in your backpack and use recess time to run and have fun. Also, personal equipment. You are not allowed to bring your own footballs, basketballs, bouncy balls, or any type of other equipment from home. If you feel we need more equipment, please talk to us and we can try to make that happen for you. If you're bringing your own equipment from home, we will be taking it and an adult will have to pick them up. I have about three of them here from last week. So remember, we'll give it back to you, but you just have to have an adult come and pick it up. And we shouldn't be bringing it to school anyways. We have plenty of equipment here. We also just came back from a two-week break, and a lot of students have forgotten that tag is not allowed at recess. Remember, tagging turns into pushing and shoving, so we are not allowing tag at all. This is not a new rule. This has been a rule that has been in place for years. So remember that you're not playing tag or freeze tag, or if you name tag anything else, it is still not allowed. We want you to be safe, so remember, no tag allowed. For fourth and fifth grade students, a lot of your teachers have been allowing you to spend time in your classrooms. This is awesome. And this is one of those great ways where you can start coloring or drawing with supervision of a teacher. And I know a lot of people are trying to get a head start on their homework or work on their reflex math during lunch. And those are all great choices. But if you are going to be in your classroom, you need to stay in your classroom. When you go to your classroom at lunchtime, there are no in and out privileges, meaning you can't go in and go out. 
in and out, in and out. You need to go into your classroom and stay in your classroom because we're having lots of issues with students in the hallways. And then they say, oh, I'm going to go to my teacher's class, but then they don't stay in their teacher's class and they're going in and out. If you're going in the classroom, stay in the classroom. If we see you outside, we're going to send you on back to the playground. We will be working with fourth and fifth grade teachers to have some sort of passes. So that way we know that you have your teacher's permission to be out there. So just remember, if you're going to go with your teacher, you need to stay with your teacher. You can't be going in and out. As we are getting closer to Thanksgiving, remember there are a lot of families in Merced that do not have a lot. So while you're feasting, there might be some people that might not have the means to do that. So we are having a canned food drive here at Farmdale this week. So if you'd like to donate any canned food, you can uh, leave them outside of your classroom and they're going to be picked up on November 17th. So feel free to bring any canned food that you have at home. And our goal is to raise 500 cans of food that will be donated to a local organization that supports our community. So if you have any food like canned fruits, vegetables, beans, soups, or canned meats like tuna, chicken, or salmon, or even holiday items like cranberry sauce, fruit cocktail, or canned ham, if you wish to donate any of these things, bring them to school by Friday, and then Miss Bays is actually going to be taking care of delivering them and everything for us. So remember, it is a season of giving, so if you have something to give, you're more than welcome to do that, and Miss Bays will help you get these canned foods to a charity. On Thursday, there is a student council meeting. Remember, all representatives and all of the executive board are invited to the student council meeting at 8 o'clock in the library on Thursday. And then this Friday is Flagpole Friday. So the gates will open at 835 for parents and Mrs. Ward's fourth grade class will be on stage leading the way. We will be recognizing our November Student of the Month recipients who have been demonstrating our character word of the month citizenship. So remember, it is crazy outfit day too. So if you want to wear your orange and navy blue, your fox gear, you can wear that or you can just wear a crazy outfit and it's going to be fun and it's our last day before Thanksgiving break. Our Live the Creed goal is five certificates for the trimester, and Friday was a 12-letter day, so a lot of classes got a jump start on getting those certificates for the second trimester. So here are my current standings. I know a lot of teachers need to email me. So, so far we have Miss Charo, Miss Gomez, Miss Vang in fourth grade, Miss Ladios, Miss Garcia, and Miss Seichow, who have turned in their Live the Creed letters for Live the Creed. So I know I'm going to get more emails after this video on Monday. We'll see where everyone stands the following week we do the announcements. We had one positive office referral last week, and that's from James in Miss Ward's class. He earned a positive office referral from Mrs. Hillhouse for finding money on the ground and returning it immediately to the Fox Support Center. It was actually Mrs. Hillhouse's money, and she intended to use it to help with student fundraisers, and she appreciated that she could support other students because James showed integrity, and he returned that money right away. So thank you, James, for doing something kind. All right, the second trimester is here, and attendance still matters. So we wiped out all the data from the first trimester, and now we're starting with a clean slate. And would you look at that? We have a new leader in our Attendance Matters campaign. So our first graders have 97.5% average daily attendance. That means most of those first graders were in their seats on time when school started. So congratulations, first grade. First grade students, don't let that number fall. Keep showing up and keep being here on time so that way we can make sure that you stay up on top and we have a new winner for our attendance challenge. Remember, fourth grade won the attendance challenge last trimester and they got their ice cream sundae party. So what will our prize be this trimester? I don't know. We'll find out. But let's see who stays on top. We also have a shout out for Miss Chara and Miss Pastor's class. They earn snow cone parties for spelling out foxes on time. Now, these two classes earn foxes on time before uh, we even tracked off in October, but we didn't have time for a snow cone party those last two days of school. And we're not gonna have time for a snow cone party this week. So they're going to be our, some of our first classes that get a snow cone party when we get back after Thanksgiving break. So keep up the great work and just know Miss Charo and Miss Pastor's class, we are coming for you. We just need the gift of time. So we will be there on Monday, November 27th. We also have snow cone parties lined up for Miss Lowe's class, Miss Seychell's class, Miss Gunn's class, Miss Smith's class, and Miss Bay's class. All of these classes earned foxes on time last week. And like I said, we don't have time to pull out that snow cone machine this week, but we will be there first thing on Monday when we return from Thanksgiving break. 
Mrs. Vu's class also earned her third Foxes on Time Party. So a lot of these classes, this is their first Foxes on Time Party, but Mrs. Vu's class is up to number three. So considering they've had two snow cone parties, we just may have something else in store for them because they have earned three Foxes on Time certificates and it's barely November. So let's see what we have in store for Mrs. Vu's class. And we're also going to be celebrating them when we get back from Thanksgiving break. We have a few shout outs. Miss Luna's class did an amazing job hosting Miss Cecil, Miss Bays, and Miss Ingram's classes for a marble run exhibit. Students in Miss Luna's class made their marble runs on their own and they had a day to share them with others. And Miss Spielman was able to go to this event and she said it was amazing and they did a great job. So great job, Miss Luna's class. And then I also have a shout out for Eileen and Sophia in Miss S. Soto's TK class. They were caught demonstrating kindness on the playground to a classmate. So they showed me what it meant to be kind. And I wanted to give them a shout out for being a great example to others. So thank you, Mrs. Soto, for sharing these pictures of Eileen and Sophia. And thank you, Eileen and Sophia, for showing me what it means to be a kind fox. Thank you to Mrs. Hillhouse's class for leading flagpole on Friday. We are sorry that our microphone stopped working for a short time. So here is a video of the poems they shared, just in case you didn't have a chance to hear. They did their share. share. On Veterans Day, we honor soldiers who protect our nation. For their service as our warriors, they deserve our admiration. Some of them were drafted, some were volunteers. For some, it was just yesterday. For some, it's been many, many years. We owe so much to them who kept us safe from terror. So when we see a uniform, let's say thank you to everywhere. I know my flag is a great flag. It represents my land, the best land in the world. So proudly here I stand with a smile upon my face and my dear flag in my hand. Didn't they do a great job? Thank you for the videos, Mrs. Hillhouse. And again, thank you to Mrs. Hillhouse's class for leading a great flag poll on Veterans Day. We have a few other perfect attendance shout outs. We have Miss Lowe's class on November 6th and 7th. We have Mrs. Gomez's class on the 8th and 9th. We have Mrs. Charo's class on the 6th, 8th, and 9th. So out of four days last week, they were all there for three days. It sounds like they're getting a head start on that next Foxes on Time certificate. And then we have Miss Van Cleve's class. And Miss Van Cleve's class was in class on time all four days last week. So congratulations to all those classes who had great attendance. All right, now it's time for kindness ticket winners. Now you might notice this is a little empty and the reason why is because we emptied it out and we're starting fresh for second trimester. So let's do some kind deeds and get this box full again. All right, so there's not much to pick from. So if you got a kindness ticket, the odds are pretty good. So our first one goes to Hunter Tao in Miss Johnson's class. Great job, Hunter. Our next one goes to Diego in Miss Johnson's class. And our next one is for Sam in Miss Van Cleve's class. So we have Diego and Hunter in Miss Johnson's class, and we have Sam in Miss Van Cleve's class. And Miss Spillman will be by your classrooms on Wednesday with an extra prize for you. So great job and keep up the great work. And finally, that leaves us with our quote of the week. I couldn't decide on one, so I chose three. So the first one is, there's always something to be thankful for. Look at the things you have, and we should remember to be thankful for those. Because even the little things, like the shoes that you're wearing, the sweater that you have, those are things to be grateful for. Also, it's not happy people who are thankful. It's people who are thankful that are happy. So if you want to be happy, look at the things you have and be thankful for those. And finally, gratitude helps us to see what there is instead of what there isn't. So again, look at the things you have, not the things that you don't have. And remember to always show an attitude of gratitude. Stop and say thank you for the little things in life because those little things are big things when you don't have them. If your birthday is in the slideshow, don't forget to stop by the library for your birthday book. And that's all I have for you. I hope you guys have a great week. Remember to work hard and be fox strong. So all together, let's put our foxes up and let's say the fox creed together. Are you ready? To be a fox, repeat in your mind, be safe, be responsible, be respectful and kind. Have a great week and have a safe Thanksgiving break and we'll see you in a week. <laughs>